Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a landscape awesome! Hey guys, welcome to Flirt. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're working on a landscape. This is Sam's image. He sent it over to have us edit it. If you have your own image and you want to edit it here at flurn.com, just send it over. There's a suggest an episode uh, button up there in the connect box. You do that and then you can submit your own image. It's very easy and then we can work on it here at Flurn and make it awesome. So we're taking this landscape image and uh, we're going to do quite a bit to it. Stay along with us because it's going to be a wild ride. So wild. All right, here we go. Um, what we're gonna do with this image is, it's already really cool, but we're gonna be doing quite a bit with um, quite a bit with the water here and creating some lights and things like that. And these are all basically effects that um, Sam requested we do. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna just make this image pop out a little bit more. It's a little bit dull, not bad, but it's just a little bit dull. Um, and we're gonna make it pop by grabbing an adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to here, Curves. And we're just gonna add some contrast. So I'm gonna take the darks and bring those a little bit darker. And then we're gonna take the lights and then bring those a little bit lighter. And you can kind of adjust these however you want to. Um, but you can see already we have, you know, a bit more contrast is gonna make this image pop. All right, the next cool thing we're going to do is um, I really want to edit the the water here quite a bit. I want to make it kind of like look like it was a very, very long exposure, um, although it wasn't here. Um, to do that, I'm gonna make a stamp visible layer. So I'm gonna hit Shift Option Command E. It just makes a copy of everything we see. So this layer you can see, it's just a copy of everything we see, it's on its own layer. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna just blur this layer. So we're gonna give it a blur. I'm gonna just go to filter. We're gonna go to blur and to Gaussian blur. There we go. And that looks like a pretty good blur there. So hit okay. And then I'm gonna put another blur on it and that's gonna go left and right. So we're gonna go to filter, blur, and we're gonna go to motion blur. And then we're gonna choose our distance here, something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So this is going to be our water. Now, what I need to do is make sure this is only visible where the water is. So I'm gonna put a layer mask on this layer, and then I'm gonna use my brush tool and just paint black, uh, you know, basically everywhere the water is not. And this is gonna help us uh, have it be, you know, just the water selection. I'm gonna zoom in and uh, we're gonna choose a little bit hard of a brush and I want to make sure this is a bit accurate. Now you're going to run into an issue here with the like the line between you know the the water and the boats and things like that and it's because of a couple things. A lot of it's because of the the light levels that we're working with um, just aren't exactly right. Like right under the boats it's it's too light. This area is just too light because it's it's blurred some of the lights together and um, in the lighter areas it's actually too dark. It took it basically took your highlights and your shadows and kind of compressed them. Um, so we need to go back and fix that or else it's gonna look horrible like it does right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in just a second. Not a big deal. All right, there we go. So that's our water there. You can see it's already looking pretty good. Now to get those shadows back, I'm gonna just grab an adjustment layer. We're gonna go to curves. I'm gonna click and drag this down. There we go. Now I'm going to hit Option Command G, and that's going to clip this Curves Adjustment layer to this other layer. So this Curves Adjustment layer is only visible where this other guy is. And I'm going to hit Command I on that to invert the layer mask. And then what we're going to do is just kind of paint this back. And I'm going to go, you know, kind of at a random uh, effect here. I'm not looking for this to be incredibly accurate. I'm just going, you know, kind of random what would be maybe the shadows of some boats and whatnot. Trying to stick to like, you know, making the darker areas darker and keeping the lighter areas lighter. I know, it's very advanced. <laughs> it's totally random. Okay, and that looks okay because now all you have to do is go to filter and then you can just go to motion blur and that's just going to apply the same filter. Let's hit command F again and um, you can see that just helps with those shadows of the boats. Really again, not, big of not too big of a deal. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the lights. We're going to grab an adjustment layer. I'm going to go up here to my curves again, option command G to clip that, and we're going to go up with the lights, there we go, and you know what, I'm going to take the, the blues down in those lights as well. Okay, and in this, we're gonna, basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over here and, you know, paint in my lights, so it's like, all right, cool, that's where the lights are. All right, maybe I won't take the blues down that much, there we go, let's put a little bit of red in there too, yeah, that's looking good. All right, 
Cool, and then we'll hit Command F a couple times, and that's basically just gonna do the same thing. Um, Command F is just going to apply the same filter that you just applied. So we can see it started off looking like this. It doesn't look bad, but um, we wanted like the long exposure look. This didn't look great, so we needed to build in our shadows and then build in our highlights on top of that. The next trick, and this is one of the coolest things, um, we're gonna create a new layer on top of all this, and um, this is gonna be a stamp visible layer as well, so Shift, Option, Command, E, and now I'm just gonna make little like selections here. I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and make little selections like this. I'm just kind of clicking around. There's, there's no order uh, to what I'm doing at all, really. It's, uh, we want this to look completely random. Um, I'm focusing more in the lighter areas than in the darker areas, but it really doesn't matter. You can get some of these darker areas. And I'm just making like little things that are, uh, you know, little tiny selections. It's nothing, nothing that's fancy. But what we're going to do in a second is we're going to create this and it's going to be a really nice detail that's going to look like we don't just have a big blurred ocean. It's going to actually look as though, you know, there's some detail here in the water, these are gonna look like waves and ripples and all this kind of cool stuff. So it's not gonna be like, you just applied a blur tool to that. It's gonna be like, whoa, cool. You used a long exposure. And you're like, yes, I did. I need Photoshop. All right, there we go. Let's select those things out. This looks awesome. Okay, so we have those selected out. I'm gonna hit Command J on that now. Um, and you can see all that did is just duplicated these to a new layer. So this is like what those look like. Totally random selections, like nothing fancy. Let's just undo that. We'll delete this other stamp visible layer. And now with those random selections, these guys here, we're going to go to filter and we're gonna go to blur and I'm gonna go to motion blur again. And we're just gonna go left and right and let's just increase the distance a little bit there. All right, and hit okay. And you can see what this does is it creates that cool like ripple effect there in the water and it makes it look a little bit more, slower the opacity a little bit, uh, makes it look more like there's actually some water going on instead of just something totally random and weird. All right, that's looking cool. Now the next thing we wanna do, I wanna add some light flares to the top of the image and this is gonna be really cool too. So let's go ahead and group everything that we've done so far. Um, on a new layer, I'm gonna grab a curves adjustment layer Okay, we're gonna grab our blue channel, crank that up. Your greens, we're gonna crank that up. And the red, we're gonna crank that up a little bit too. Okay, now we're gonna grab our brush tool and I'm gonna hit Command I to invert the layer mask. There we go. I'm gonna paint around. This is, again, the, the key to this is just making things random. There we go. That's a nice random assortment of nothingness. <laughs> and we're gonna go to filter and I'm gonna to go to blur, and I'm gonna to go to a radial blur, and now we're gonna choose a spin, zoom about 41, and right about here, and that's gonna give us a really cool effect. There we go, it looks like kinda of like light. Now if you don't get it exactly right the first time, not a big deal, do it again, and go to filter, blur, radial blur. I just need to move this more that way, and hit okay, and now it should look like it's going up. And you can paint X, or sorry, you can paint black, to have it not be visible in some areas, and then white to have it be visible in the other areas. And then just hit Command F when you're ready to let it rip again. I'm using very uh, official terms like let it rip. <laughs> there we go, let's paint a little bit of black on there, hit Command F again. Cool, so we've got a light effect that's like, you know, kind of coming from this little bit of a village over there. Well, let's do it again, because I like this, and I think you guys like it too. That's total guess, because I don't know what you're doing right now, but I think you like it. All right, let's do that as well. I'm gonna hit Command I and uh, paint with my white. Now, I'm choosing colors that are, are gonna be relatively similar to what's going on here in this image. Um, and you can always adjust these uh, curves adjustment layers later uh, if it's you know like too green or something like that. Um, but I'm just gonna roll with it for now. If it's the wrong color, you can just go here and start playing with your colors again. All right, let's go to filter. We'll go to blur, radial blur again, and this time over here on the left. There we go, hit okay. Boom, that looks awesome. Let's paint some black, some white, hit command F again. Cool, so it's like this little town is all aglow with uh, greatness. And let's do one here in the middle, because I think it'll be cool. All right, 
curves adjustment layer this time we'll pump a bit more red and blue and maybe keep the greens down to a minimum uh, you know what's the wrong color you can see it's the wrong color because it doesn't look good it's like whoa that looks horrible Aaron congratulations so all you got to do is like put a little more green in there and it's like okay we're back to looking decent there we go and let's go to filter let's go to blur and we'll go to radio blur again and then here down in the middle that looks awesome I'm not even gonna touch it because that already looks awesome no no more work required um, and this looks really cool let's hit uh, F to go to our full screen let's make that black so you can see that's our final image. And really I did this uh, pretty quick. I would say um, you could spend a little bit more time on it if you wanted. Let's go ahead and group those two. Um, but let's show you guys the before and the after. So here's the before. Let's just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Here's the before. It's a little bit um, dull and there's not any cool effects at all. And there's the after not dull plus cool effects. That's it guys. That's how to make your landscape awesome in Photoshop, adding these all kinds of cool effects and playing around with water. And we did a lot with blur today too. So I hope you guys learned a little bit more about blur. What is your favorite blur? Mine today is the radio blur. The, word, the blur for the day is radio blur. Guys, let me know. What's your favorite blur? That's a weird question, but I want to know the answer to it. And um, thanks so much. If you guys have an image like this and you want to apply some light flares and leaks to it, uh, please do and leave it in a comment box below. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. I'll Flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Woo-hoo! That's a blur song, by the way.